Well, this is day 10. <laughs> this is the last of our segments together. Mm -hmm. It's been great just taking segments uh, from the movie and then also highlighting parts mm -hmm. of the Love Dare book that uh, we saw the main character, Kirk Cameron, who plays the part of Caleb in the movie. Uh, he finally, he goes through the end of the mm -hmm. 40 days and by then he doesn't even want to stop. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to continue on. His characters finally made the connection mm. that it's not me versus you in the marriage, but it's the two of us working together to mm -hmm. fix what is broken. And even when his wife did not reciprocate uh, the, the thoughtfulness and the feelings and the love, he still continued. And I love the fact when he, when he said, I'm on day 43, because he knew <laughs> that he's just, it's a lifestyle now. He's going to continue it <laughs> on and on. And ultimately we yeah. know, if you've seen the movie, you know that his commitment pays off mm -hmm. and his wife then sees that, yeah, this is genuine. Mm -hmm. This is a genuine heart change. And Ron, mm -hmm. really that's what it's all about. It's about yeah. having a genuine heart change in our marriage. Yeah, he said, who says I have to stop? Mm -hmm. And uh, he really finally gets it, that it is, uh, it's a God kind of love. It's this unconditional agape mm -hmm. love that uh, you can't conjure up on your own. It's not humanly possible, but God loving through you it is possible. And he realizes that God's kind of love is a covenant as opposed to a contract. Right. And in, in day 40 of the Love Dare book, the final day, it says love is a covenant. And just to read a couple of portions from that, he says, we challenge you to consider it as a covenant instead of a contract, the marriage covenant. Uh, a contract is usually written, a uh, written agreement based on distrust outlining the conditions and consequences if broken. A covenant, though, is a verbal commitment based on trust, assuring someone that your promise is unconditional and good for life. It is spoken before God out of love for another. Contract is self-serving and comes with limited liability. It establishes a time frame for certain deliverables to be met and accomplished. You know, it might have a, a, a clause to, to mm -hmm. get out of it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, cancellation clause, but a covenant on the other hand is for the benefit of others and comes with unlimited mm -hmm. uh, responsibility. It has no expiration date. It is till death do us part. That's, That's right. the God kind of love. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a covenant mm -hmm. relationship. It's unbreakable. It's not one of these things where you mm -hmm. have a prenuptial agreement and you say, well, if it goes off the tracks, mm -hmm. then we know we'll be okay. No, you say, we're going to be okay because we're not going to let it go off the tracks. This is a mm. covenant between the two of us mm. and Almighty God. And we are going to stick with this mm. through thick and thin. What are the marriage vows? For better or for worse, for richer or for mm -hmm. poorer, in sickness and in health. No matter what, in other words, yeah. no matter what, we are going to stick with this. That's a covenant. And one thing that, that we've found has been so helpful and we encourage others to do, and the book encourages mm -hmm. us, is, is to pray together yeah. as a couple. You know, if you, you pray together, you're, you're there, you're in uh, humility before God and you're recognizing His presence and that mm -hmm. you're submitted to Him uh, and then to each other. And um, yeah. it just strengthens the marriage so much. And just putting the time and effort into it, like taking the, the book, The Love Dare, and going through yeah. it, whether your marriage is good and you want to make it better, whether it's on, on the brink, mm -hmm. just hanging by a thread, and you say, God, help us. I'm willing to at least take these steps yeah. and I, I choose to do that even though my feelings aren't there yet. Mm -hmm. You need to lead your feelings. You know there's a lot of people out there right now their marriage yeah. is on the rocks mm. and no one knows it. They're living through a really hard mm. home life and they've put on a good face. I know mm. I've talked to a couple of different friends over the last few weeks who have told me just that. You know my marriage mm. isn't as good as people think it is. We're really struggling right now mm. and so I want to encourage you you know take some steps to make it work, to mm -hmm. fix it. And if this book, The Love Dare, can help you, we would love to get it into your hands. Mm -hmm. We have gone through The Love Dare. We know it works. It is really good to, mm -hmm. you know, not only like you said, Ron, maybe your marriage isn't on the rocks, maybe you just need to kind of tweak it or refine it or enrich it. Yeah. It will definitely do that. And so we want to encourage you to make sure you get a copy of this book. So go ahead on this final day. Yeah. <laughs> Take the dare and dare to love. Yes.